Right, so something which won't be new to most of you, but I'm going to have a go at making char cloth, but instead of using a tin, we're going to use tin foil. The reason being, I just wanted to try something different, and also this is lighter and smaller to use, and also saves you having a kind of ruin a tin by pricking a hole in the top of it and all that and you know good way of improvising if you got tin foil with you you could use that so I've got some 100% cotton the only stuff I could find was this red stuff so I'm going to put this on here like this and I'm going to use a buddy burner and this little fold out pot stand to heat it up now I've seen one other person do this I'm going to do this slightly different so now I'm just going to fold it all up And the last person I saw, that's just how they did it. I'm going to do this. I am going to prick a hole in the top. Right, so that's basically that. And then we'll take this outside, put it on a stove to see if there's a balance on here. Yep, so that'll work. So we'll go outside and we'll finish it off. Right, we'll open it and have a look. Well, it looks like some of the bottom didn't I might have not left it long enough probably would have paid for me to leave it a bit longer but 
that one looks like it might have worked I'll get a, a flint and a flint in that and we'll try it all right so we've got a bit of flint and uh striker we'll try this we'll try this bit here that looks like pretty promising Right, got it. Ah, so that has worked pretty good then. So it's worth doing that. So you can do it in tin foil. Try it with this bit which is not so not so good but maybe the end of it might catch. I can see sparks hitting it. That bit doesn't seem to be catching. That has. But not quite as well as the other bit, but that is working. So pretty much guaranteed that all these really dark bits, these have worked good. Right, anyway, cheers for watching, and I'll see you later.